Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to start one another AWS service known as Identity and Access Management. This service is very useful. If you are interested for the security domain, then it is really very interesting and useful service for you as well. Now, let's start with the step-by-step -step detail. First of all, I'm going to explain you fundamental of IAM. I want you to understand why AWS developed this particular service. Now, to explain you this, let's understand with one real world scenario. Let's say that there is one company named Global Tech Solution. Global Tech Solution decided that now we are going to move to the cloud. They are going to deploy all their physical server on the cloud. As you know that our favorite cloud is actually AWS. So Global Tech decided that we are going to migrate all our servers, database, our storage from our on-premises infrastructure to AWS. Now, who is going to migrate this? You have to assign this particular responsibility to some people, right? Now, in this case, let's say that we have a person named Chief Tech Officer. Now, this person, Mr. Chief Tech Officer, having responsibility to migrate all their global tech solution physical infrastructure to AWS. Now, Tell me, what will be the first step taken by the chief tech officer? Definitely, he is going to open AWS account. So in order to start your migration process, the first step is to create AWS account. Now, when you are going to create AWS account first time, you have to provide your username as your email and the password. Of course, our chief tech officer is the first person who is actually going to create account. So, he is a real king of the account. And in AWS language, we call it root user. Means, chief tech officer is a root of AWS account and root is actually having full control on your AWS account. He can manage any services, billing, support plan, everything. Yes, we need to protect this user account. We will talk about this as well. But I just want you to understand that, that Mr. Chief Tech Officer is currently root of our AWS account. Now, Global Tech is a giant company. They have thousands of servers and database and storage services and all this. My question is, this particular Mr. Chief Tech Officer can able to maintain each and every services alone? Definitely not. So what happened? Mr. Chief Tech Officer, who is actually root user, hired two people over here. Our first person is actually EC2 mastermind and another person is actually networking guy known as VPC Visionary. So, these two guys are going to help Mr. Chief Tech Officer to maintain EC2 instances. So, this person, EC2 Mastermind, is going to help to maintain AWS EC2 instances and VPC Visionary is going to help Mr. Uh, Chief Tech Officer for the networking setup like Virtual Private Cloud and VNet and all this. Now, question is, how EC2 Mastermind and Mr. VPC Visionary going to log into AWS account? Is it good idea that Mr. Chief Tech Officer, who is actually root user, is sharing his account with these two people? If you are doing this, then you are not following AWS security best practices. Let's say that one day, when you log into your AWS account and you found that your two EC2 instances are actually terminated. 
Now, everybody is actually using same root user account. How you can find out this? It is very difficult and sharing account with each other is not good idea. So, in this case, what we can do? We can use a service called AWS IAM. Here, using this particular service, we can create users, we can create groups, we can create user policies, we can create roles. So, in short, using this IAM service, we can fulfill our requirement. We can create two new user account like EC2 Mastermind and VPC Visionary. They have their own username and password. They can log into their own username and password and you can also set up which kind of services they are going to access. Let's say that our EC2 Mastermind is going to manage all our EC2 instances. He is not going to manage VPC but our VPC Visionary is going to manage only VPC. He is not going to manage EC2 instances. In short, if you talk about definition of IAM, we can say that IAM is a web service that help, helps securely control access to AWS resources by managing users, permissions and their credentials. So, this is a basic idea, but I know you guys, you will not able to understand directly if I am going to talk only theoretical. So, let's do one thing, let's create our two users right now and let's understand how these users are going to access our AWS resources. So, I am going to my desk, let's understand IAM practically. Hello and welcome. Welcome to my desk. Here I am going to explain you AWS IAM practically. Sorry, sorry, I know that you want to watch full video, but full video is now not available on YouTube. If you want to watch full video, I want you to go to our website. When you will go to our website, you will find out our course 100 days YouTube challenge. I want you to enroll for this course by paying only 499 rupees for lifetime if you are from India. If you are from outside of India, you just need to pay 7 US dollar. Once you will enroll to this course, you are going to get all full videos over there on our portal. You are also going to get certificate after completing the course and we have just uploaded 120 videos. We are going to upload another 120 videos as well. So, there will be total 240 videos. I hope we are going to meet inside the class. Thank you very much.